Headshot. Welcome to my Skilling to Max series where I embark on an epic journey throughout Old School RuneScape, acquiring sick items and leveling my non-combat skills to 99. Here are some of the moments so far that I've had. Ooh, that's an ugly looking thing. And check this out. The full set. What's up gamers, it's Dazer HI bringing you guys a brand new video. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I did take a break from my Skiller to Max series due to burnout. So I think I'm going to try something a little bit different. So that way I don't kill myself over trying to progress through the game. I think I'm going to just do like daily content of me kind of progressing, having tasks that level up my account over time. And I think that should help me stay motivated to get to max rank. So if you're new here, smash the like button, subscribe, and let's get into the content. All right, so it's been a minute since I've been back. Let's see what's new in old school RuneScape. So on the Twitter, we have RuneScape's Kingdom, Shadow of Elverg. There's a new Dungeons and Dragons kind of RuneScape board game. That's not thing that I'm into. Uh, let me know if you guys are gonna purchase that. I mean, it could be a collector piece out there if people collect games, but I don't know. Card games such as this or even board games is not my thing. That's pretty cool though. Let's see. We have the Undead Pirate Rewards poll. And basically, they moved the Clue Scroll location to make it easier. That's what I read. Um, I haven't done any Clue Scrolls lately. So I guess for those of you who do Clue Scrolls, it's a good thing that it's less dangerous in the wilderness to complete so that's awesome aside from that let's check my stats we are currently afk farming some fishing we are sitting at 84 fishing and you're gonna see me do a lot of this style of skilling which is just laid back chill skilling and yeah, I'm not trying to rush things. I think before I was kind of trying to rush through RuneScape to progress and post my updates. But yeah, that's how I burned out the first time. So I think I'm going to go in a more relaxed way and just kind of chat with you guys. Play RuneScape, enjoy my time in grinding and uh, have like friendly, friendly talks with you guys in the comment section because... It's just way more enjoyable that way. And I'm going to play this game to where maybe it's not the most efficient, but I'm going to at least enjoy my time playing. And that's how I can do this for a very long time is by just enjoying my time talking to you guys and just showing my gameplay. So you're going to see more of that. All right, now that we got the news out of the way, Let's move on to a better fishing training experience. And weird flex, I have a victor cape. Check this out. If you want to know how to get this, you need to win 10 LMS games. Let me know if any of you level 3 skillers have this because I think I'm like one of the only few that has 10 wins on the level 3 skiller. Weird flex, weird flex, but uh I got a stunt on you guys, you know what I mean? To be very honest with you guys, the Temporis minigame gives pretty decent EXP. But the only thing that I truly want from this is the fishing pet. Because look at that. That blue thing in the top left. Imagine that little pet just following you around. That's like legendary. I've done so many games of this and still no luck. But you know, my day will come one day. Please. Oh, shoots. Let me uh, grab the, the pole real quick. Oh, yeah. Another pro tip. If you have the full spirit angler set, you can literally grab that totem pole without even needing a rope. As you can see in my inventory, I have zero rope in my inventory. So, yeah. If you don't have this fishing set yet, I would really grab one as soon as possible. It does take some time, but it's absolutely worth it. You also get an EXP bonus too, so just saying. Let me fill up my inventory real quick. Oh, not, not there. There's that 
dang uh, cloud almost took up my fish, bro. Come on. I need to fill up this inventory. It's taking too long. I'm so rusty. I haven't played in a while. Come on, two more fish. Two more fishies. Come on, brother. There we go. Got a tether again. Oh my goodness. Okay. I don't mind doing this. Like, I could do this all the way to 99 because this is literally my favorite mini game. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this mini game or which one is your favorite because. To me, this is like the number one. Like, I could do this all day, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Please forgive the background noise. I have a lot of family over, but... I mean, hopefully it's not too loud. All right, let's burst this guy down. You have met your end, Temporis. Goodbye. All right, fam, so we got about 30 points. Let's see if we can get the Temporous Pet. Probably not. But let's try anyway. 39 raw bass, spirit flakes, raw bass, spirit flakes. And nope, all 30 gone and zero pet, Sag. All right, it's time to do some fire making in Winter Todd. We're going to have to wait till the next game because he has 16 more percent. So we'll just chill in the lobby for now. But I should really be doing this a little bit more because my fire making is level 90. So nine more levels to max, guys. That's not that far away. I think I'm about like halfway there. Let's see. We have two level three skillers in this mini game so far. Three. Not bad. Not bad. That's pretty nice. That's great to see that there's more skillers in here. Okay, we're going to have to fletch this inventory pretty soon. So, time to start fletching. Okay. Fletching has begun. Hopefully, I don't take any damage or else I'm going to have to reset it. Yep, got to reset it. Did it work? Yep. Not gonna lie, whoever's alligator pet that is, is so insane. I really wish Jagex would make like a skill where you can use your pets for something or not even use it, just like maybe it's like a totem that uh, if you have a pet, you get bonus damage or faster skilling. That'd be so dope. I would rather prefer that than the stupid, um, what is, what did I see the last time? I heard they wanted to do like a sailing skill, which sounds so dumb. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are excited for that, by the way. I don't even know like how far along that is, but that's pretty trash in my opinion. Like sailing, come back to RuneScape and sail. Like that sounds so boring. <laughs> Now, if you said something like, come back to RuneScape and you can use a pet to give you bonus stats. Start taming now. Dude, I would be on this so quick. Oh, yeah, it's over. Let's pop this crate real quick, see what we get. Pet. Ah, trash. Just another weird flex. How's my Seren helmet? Right over here. To get that, you need 500 LMS points. And LMS is one of my favorite things to do as a skiller. As you know, we cannot gain any combat EXP. But if you LMS, you don't gain any combat EXP. So I like to do that for fun. All right, this guy's going to catch some hands. Let me pot up real quick. Oh, shoot, I haven't played in a while. I forget how to play. Right here, level 95. Of course I splash. Ugh, oh, come on. Oh my goodness. My clicks are cr off. Ugh. I need to move this real quick. Bro. What is happening? Oh no. What am I doing? See, this is what happens. When you don't play for a year, 
What did I click? I clicked my Serendomin Brew. Oh my god. I don't know if I can win this, guys. Oh, dude. Okay. Where's my RNG? Oh my goodness. Alright, guys. That's going to do it for the episode. If you enjoyed my content, leave me a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.